today's episode of Big Digital's Growthcast. I'm joined by the production team, and we're going to talk about the benefits and how to use short codes. So, guys, what is a short code? Uh, a short code is a little piece of code that lets you quickly and easily add bits of predefined functionality to a page or post or even a widget. It's kind of similar to a macro in Microsoft Office. So, you know, there's code behind it. And when you add this uh, short code to a page or post, it performs whatever uh, the predetermined functionality has been coded to be. So my, why might a user want to use short codes in their WordPress website? To save time. And also, you know, if you're not a coder, you can have your programmer code a short code. So then you can add that functionality anywhere on the site that you want by just a word and some brackets. Um, it's just to save time and uh, to be able to use something over and over again. Yeah, a good example is like a date on, on your site that you want to automatically update every year, maybe like a copyright, something like that. You can have that be uh, programmed as a short code and then every year it'll automatically update. So it's something you don't have to worry about updating. And there there are a, a number of default short codes that come with WordPress that you don't have to you know, program yourself or have somebody program for you. A popular one would be gallery, you put a gallery in the short code and, and the list, the number of the images, and it'll create an image gallery for you. Uh, there's audio caption. That's another popular one to wrap captions around content. Uh, there's embed, which helps you set dimensions for an item. There's a playlist for, for playing, uh, videos, there's a, there's a video short code for placing a video and it just makes it you know easier to set those things in, in your site without uh, some custom code. So what are some other maybe popular examples of short codes that we've seen out there or that we usually develop for websites that we build? Yeah, so um, some of the short codes that you know, I've used a lot on some sites is you know the address of a company company name or site title, uh, you know, the company URL, phone number, you know, details that are, you know, pertinent to the, um, the company itself that you're using on almost every page. So, and it's great, it's a great way to use and factor the short codes into your content, because let's say you need to update your phone number, uh, you know, you can update it in one place and that short code will then update it across, let's say you have it placed on hundreds of pages. So that way we don't have to do a direct find and replace, which you can have, you know, it's pros and cons. Um, the same thing with having to go in every single page and update it one by one. You know, that's a lot of time spent, uh, you know, that could be used in a better place. So we like to use, you know, the address, phone numbers, things like that, that sometimes update from time to time if a business changes its location or changes a phone number. It's a great and quick way to, you know, update that on the fly. Yeah, and your programmer can put advanced custom fields in the theme options. So you can just fill in the phone number, fill in the address, and then wherever you add the short code, it'll pull that information from that field. So it's easy for you to update as well without needing to know code. Cool, anything I missed that uh, we should mention before uh, we end our discussion on short codes? There are some plugins that use short codes primarily, um, such as TablePress which is really useful if you have a table you want to create using the table press plugin and then display that table in multiple sections on the site without having to recreate the table for each page. Once you update it in table press, then it'll update it everywhere where you have that short code displayed in that plugin. Yeah. Also um, the events calendar pro plugin, you can add, events to certain pages. You can do it by category or tag. So just another, you know, you enter all of the event info in the events calendar pro settings or in the event custom post type, but then you can choose where to display it and how using their short codes. Yeah. And some events plugins use different types of short codes to display different types of things. So if I wanted to display my events in a grid, it would be like short code would be grid or my events in a list, the short code on that page would be list. Uh, so there's different plugins use them in different ways. Uh, so you always have to go in and 
kind of learn what each plugin does and how they how they use them, but they are really useful. Yeah, and they usually show the list of short codes available in the plugin documentation. Thank you to the, the digital production team for joining us and explaining the benefits and how to use short codes. I'll see you guys in the next episode.